Hi there everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. One thing you may notice right off the bat here is that my face is on the screen. If you did not watch yesterday's video update, it was the first time I actually did it. Main reason is now you can see my facial expressions and also you can see how many times I cut uh, throughout the videos really to uh, try to make them smooth and with the uh, the correct information. So that is one thing you want to note. So um, there's, there, there's that. So let's get into the weather here after my quick gimmick. Sorry about that. But, uh, we're continuing to watch the tropical depression off the Philippines today. And, uh, this has definitely already been bringing some heavy rainfall. You can see here on the satellite imagery really starting to organize, uh, lots of heavy convection just off the coastlines. You've already been seeing some reports of landslides in and around the east coast of Visayas off there towards southern Luzon. And unfortunately, as this tropical depression does continue to move off there towards the north, it is still going to be bringing some more rainfall. Over 150 to 200 millimeters expected in the next 48 uh, to 72 hours there along the east coast of Visayas, extending off there towards Luzon as this tropical depression continues to just skirt the coastline. So really, I don't expect this one to become a named storm by any means. JTWC at this time holds it there as a medium area. And I think at this time, this storm system is just not going to have enough uh, time to get, to get together and get organized before it starts to get off here towards north and encounters and an abundant amount of vertical wind shear and that is coming in from the jet stream from the west there, which is just which is associated with a developing area of weather coming out of china it's actually a stationary boundary lingering right here we have our low pressure area or the tropical depression i should say continuing to linger just towards the east of the philippines all that rainfall things are letting up at least into mindanao for the time being so that's the good news but as this does work its way off there towards the north if we take a look actually at the uh, the wind shear analysis it is going to turn this system from a uh, more weak tropical system to a deep westerly low. And what that really means is going to become more of a bear clinic or uh, uh, a storm system that you would often see across much of the central U.S. or off there towards Japan. And that's really going to be the big problem here as it pushes just towards the south of Japan. Really expecting by early next week widespread rain, gale force winds there in southern Japan. And even the rough waves near the coastline. I actually shared this picture on my Facebook earlier on this evening this is from the european model showing the storm just off the east coast here this is tokyo right in there uh pressure at 955 hpa that is a very deep storm system also you have that front attached to it. any shipping or traffic across this region look how deep this gradient is that is just going to be uh causing all sorts of high waves this is gonna be very dangerous any boats coming across the area but also is ushering in some cold air coming in from the north and i expect um some rain but maybe through the overnight hours on monday going into tuesday you could see some snow here in tokyo and this is actually on monday morning you see that storm system just pushing in from the south going into monday evening it really deepens and that is also about the same time that it's really going to combine up with the tropical depression and that storm system coming in off of china all going together merging with that cold air from the north and i guess as a uh the movie scholars would say my goodness, this storm could be of epic magnitude. That's a quote from The Perfect Storm, by the way. But uh, really, as we continue to look off here towards Monday into Tuesday, and continue to look on the model run here, this is early Tuesday morning. storm really continues to deepen. You have that sea effect snow continuing to also build up. All these boxes right here, actually, over the Sea of Japan, that's indicating what we call cold air advection, that cold air rushing over the warmer waters. And along the west coast, you'll still see that. Also, look all the way down here towards the south. I think this is also going to usher in. Uh, another cold surge, lots of cold air diving in as far south of Okinawa, some breezy conditions. And still seeing, if we uh, continue to scroll down the map here on Monday, some lingering showers across the southern portions of the Philippines. But the good news is that this area, at least for the time being, is just going to suck up all the moisture that has been plaguing this region for several weeks now and pushing off there towards the north. So I think that as far as the intense rains uh, that you've been seeing all week here, uh, that's going to start to let up by next week. Still some scattered showers really going to continue to build in here though but for the time being even off here towards manila you're still seeing the rain showers mainly along the east coast here farther down towards the south where we're lacking the radar coverage also seeing the heavy showers there so still the risk of flooding and even further landslides uh very well could be expected here over the next several days as this system just continues to linger at least in the sunday before it does get grabbed by that low and the upper level trough coming in off of china but that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com also please do check out the website we got plenty of updates talking about heavy 
snowfall in China. Uh, continued updates there about the cyclone approaching uh, Western Australia. Absolutely massive tropical cyclone. Uh, full coverage on that from all cyclone chasers and 28storms.com. That's why I'm not producing video on it right now. And also, you remember, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Western Pacific Weather. Uh, also, me at Robert Spetta. And please click uh, the subscribe button. Annotation on the screen right now. Actually, I'm going to put it on my face right here. You have to click it, and then um, you can get our daily video updates every day. So thanks for watching, though. Stay safe out there. Bye.